Hey guys, Neo Masaya. So for today's video, I'm going to be talking about the rumors for the Arsenal's 50 million bid for the Sampdoria duo, as well as the, all these rumors regarding Arsenal and a new striker. Stay tuned for my thoughts and my views, and please subscribe if you haven't done so already. Let's go. So, about a month ago, I did a couple videos talking about Dennis Pryor as well as Yao Chim Anderson. And it seems that all these rumors are, are really picking up and it seems that Arsenal are looking to bid a 50 million bid towards picking the both of these two players up. Obviously, if you go back and watch my video, I've done a more of an in-depth analysis on Dennis Pryor, who's a central midfield player uh, who can play deep in that creative role. Seen a bit, I guess, now uh, since Granit Xhaka could be leaving as a Granit Xhaka replacement. And then you look at Anderson, who's more of a centre-back, who can also play as a defensive midfielder. So it probably means the likes of Callum Chambers is probably going to be gone um, from Arsenal. So Arsenal really ramping things up, especially when looking at how some of our other rivals are doing with Manchester United just making their first signing uh, as well but good props to Arsenal getting in there really early really quick to start to get things wrapped up and I think that Unai Emery's plan is to get things going as quick as we possibly can. In other news you can see that Arsenal are rumoured with every single striker you could possibly imagine um, and it seems that from my perspective, they're looking to replace Danny Welbeck and God forbids, they could be also looking to replace either Lacazette or Aubameyang with some of the rumors. But I think it's more so the first that they are looking for a Danny Welbeck type of replacement, someone that could play on both wings as well as potentially up front or just an experienced striker. And the first player that I'm gonna be talking about is Daniel Sturridge. So Daniel Sturridge, as we all know, Champions League winner with Liverpool this season. Uh, previously, uh, I would say a, a good, solid option. And you know, if this rumor had come about maybe five, six years ago, then I would have been like, you know what? Signing Daniel Sturridge on a free right now since being released from Liverpool isn't actually that bad. But now, 30 something year old, 29, 30 years old, I, ugh, oh, I'm not sure. And you know what? I don't like it. I think we should be going for at least younger um, players that have a better resale value. I get it. He has experience just generally because of his age. He's got Premier League experience. I mean, you know, Henry knows him from what happened at the Europa League final, what? four years ago when Liverpool were in the Europa League final, they actually lost to Unai Emery's side. So it kind of makes sense, but I'm not liking the way how, how this is going forward. So yeah, let, let's, let's see what happens. Let's see if this story really has some legs. Striker number two, Emmanuel Dennis. Now I know what you're thinking. Why is he reacting to Emmanuel Dennis? Who is Emmanuel Dennis? Well, I'll tell you, Emmanuel Dennis is a young Nigerian striker, lots of potential right now, plays for Club Bruges. This season he went to play 32 games and scored seven goals and three assists, which is not good enough, to, to be really honest, and for Arsenal, even for a backup, I'm expecting 10 goals. Um, yes, I guess statistically wise, seven goals and the three assists contribution of 10 contributions to the season. Overall, I guess that's okay, but no, um, I, I still think that why are we not looking at using some of our youth players to be this kind of backup, to be someone that could come up off the bench and be able to do a job? Why are we not looking at Eddie and Ketia? Why are we not looking at Xavier Michi? Why are we not looking at the likes of John Jules? What is going on? He's currently 21 years old and valued at about £6 million uh, on transfermarket.co.uk, which probably means that in order for Arsenal to actually pick this guy up, he's probably going to cost about 15 to 16 million, to be really honest. I just add 10 on top of whatever number that they give me uh, online because that's 
what it's going to really take to get him out of Club Rouge. But overall, um, it's it's probably one that we're invested in for resale value. I don't really have a problem with it, but what I don't like is the fact that we're not investing in the youth that we have. Give the give our youth a chance. Give our young gunners a chance. They've been fantastic in the youth academy. Let's see what they can do. Another striker that we're actually looking at, his name is Fedor Chalov. So you would have seen over the past 12 to 24 hours, this room has come out um, about this young Russian guy, top of the actual Russian league, really good striker, um, to be really honest. Scored 17 goals and seven assists uh, this past season and is an absolute goal machine for his, his age. And I'm really, really impressed by his stats. Fedor's only 21 years old right now, so to be able to score 17 goals at 21 years old, um, this is really only his first or second proper season. It's really, really good, it's really impressive. He's currently valued at about 10 million pounds, which is nothing, nothing. But again, it's one of those situations where he currently plays for CSK in Moscow, um, actually scored against us last year um, in the Europa League. Uh, but to get him out of CSK in Moscow, we're talking at least 20 uh, mil to be able to get him out of there. So uh, he could be another option. Could only play as a center forward, but either way, he'd be a fantastic option to get. His goal tally is um, really impressive for his age, and I'm tremendously impressed. And that's one out of all of the ones that I've talked about here today that I would go about to get. But guys, thank you once again for watching this video. Please leave your comments below. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think we should, Daniel Sturridge should be the guy who should, we should go after? Do you think Emmanuel should be the one? Or do you think we should be going after um, Ch Chalov uh, instead? Leave your comments below. Let's get a discussion going. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.